pretty rough on the backside. In some countries, they'll use their leaves as a, a substitute tree. for sandpaper. Uh, the wood of that tree is a very tight grain wood. They can sand it really smooth. They'll use it for handles, for tools, musical instruments, things like that. The bark of that tree, they'll take the bark and you can take the fibers of the bark and weave them together and make a rope out of them. And um, then you'll see all these brown leaves on the, on the ground here. And these leaves fall every single day. And in many countries, what they'll use is those leaves, they'll make a substitute for tobacco out of those leaves <laughs> uh, and uh, use them as a stimulant. Then this tree, if you look up there, you'll see these things that look like fingers up there, and that's fruit. Uh, and uh, these fingers, when they they look like a hand pointing up in the air. And when the fingers, when the fruit gets ripe, they'll plump way up, they'll hang down like wet noodles, and then you'll pull that skin off and eat the skin very sweet. Then what's left hanging there is the center of this fruit. Uh, these white things are hanging there. In some countries, they'll call this a monkey tail tree because it looks like monkey tails up there, and they'll call the fruit monkey fruit. But again, one tree, lots of uses for that one tree. And that's true of a lot of these plants.